Hey there everyone, I wanted to make a video which singles out the whole process of how to create a CFG file for things like special poses and special actions, so animations and on and off toggles. You need a CFG file for this to work in the first place, so this is quite an important step if you want to be able to use things like animations and on and off toggles. So here we have a model folder. This contains all of the files that makes your VTuber model function for software like FaceRig. We've got a motions file here, which contains all of our little animations for the character. We've also got this file here. This folder contains all of our texture for our character as well. This is what literally gives us the visuals and the way we look as a VTuber model. And these files are created through the process of exporting your model. And here we have the CFG file right here. You have to make the CFG file yourself by using a program called Notepad. Now you can find Notepad on every copy of Windows. I will say though that I don't know anything when it comes to Apple, sadly. I don't know anything about what process you need to go through to be able to do that on an Apple computer. But if you were to like type into search and put in Notepad, you'll be able to find it and it will just pop up like this. Now, when you go to save this file, you've got to name it CC underscore and the name of your VTuber model. Now you've got to make sure that you write this down exactly. It has to be the same name as what you've given your original live 2D files that are contained in your VTuber model file. I feel like that the, if people are having issues with making their special poses and special actions work, so their animations and on and off toggles, it's usually because of one of these reasons here. So with that, let's just save this file. And as you can see, it's currently a text file and not a CFG file. Now. Some people may not have this enabled, but with this Windows browser here, just generally, there is a tab called View at the top there. If you click on it, make sure that File Name Extensions is ticked. This will allow you to actually see all of the extensions of all of the files. So if you go and right click on the file and choose Rename, we can change the file extension to CFG enter. Now it will say if you change a file name extension the file might become unusable. Are you sure you want to change it? Click yes. Now the reason why we're seeing this message is because I've already got a file that's called exactly the same so I'm actually just going to click no but I just wanted to give you an example of how to change the extension of the notepad file. And we're going to load up this. So here we have the CFG file. So of course when you start out with your notepad file and have turned it into a CFG file, you won't have this coding. You're going to have to type this all out yourself. So feel free to copy what's written here. You only need to copy this one line of text here and this one line of text here as well. Because this one here is for special actions. It says set special action anim. So that's the animations for your VTuber model. And set special pose param is your on and off toggles for your VTuber model. Like I say, you don't even have to type all of this because it's all pretty much the same line. Just make sure that you copy this one and this one. Now to better explain how this works, we're basically giving a line of code for FaceRig to understand that it is a special pose on and off toggle or a special action animation. So I know that a lot of you will want to know about the special pose line, so we're going to talk about that first. Make sure, again, that you have written accurately your VTuber model file name. If this is different, it will not work. These are apostrophes, not quotations as well. And this here is the name of your parameter ID for your special pose on and off toggle. This is where you would have to put the ID that you've given it in the parameter 
so that it can function. So just to show you, if you're not sure what your parameter ID is, all you have to do is go and right click on the parameter with the special pose on and off toggle, click on edit parameter, and there it is. This is the ID that you need to input into the CFG file. If you haven't added a name, feel free to change it. In my case, I've called it param underscore angry. But if you do happen to change this ID, you've got to make sure to re-export your VTuber model. So in this case, I'm just gonna put in angry as an example. And away we go. We've sorted out the one special pose. Now these numbers here are important. We have to change this depending on how many poses that we have. We can have up to eight special pose on and off toggles for a VTuber model if you're using face rig. If you're using a different software, there's a possibility that you'll be able to use more, but I'm not 100% certain because I've not used the other software. Now special actions, just to touch on it again, are temporary animations that you can play out on your VTuber model. That's where the motions file comes in and it also contains all of the motionfree.json files. But if you want to learn more about how to create special actions and temporary animations, you can check out my beginner's tutorial on how to make special actions for your VTuber model. I'll leave the link down below. So yeah, as far as the special action animation is concerned, it's the same principle, but the right name for your VTuber model into this part of the code here. And then when we've got wave, that is the name of the, the motion free.json file. All you have to do is type in wave. So it's just the first part of what you've named it here. And of course we've got numbers for that too. This is to just basically be able to indicate to FaceRig that these are separate shortcut keys. That's something you'll also most likely have to configure in your own software. And I can't emphasize this enough. If you get any of this wrong, if there is one single error in your spelling, this will be a problem. You just got to kind of keep on top of it. Make sure that you get that right. Because I do believe that this is the problem that most people are being faced with when it comes to their special poses and special actions not working for their VTuber model. So I can't emphasize that enough. Just double check that you've got this right. Make sure that you've got CC underscore your VTuber name. And also make sure, of course, that the file itself is actually a .cfg file format. Now, another thing I just wanted to show you guys, hey there, <laughs> uh, is that maybe you haven't enabled special poses to work on your VTuber model. It's possible that if for whatever reason, even if you've done an absolutely perfect CFG file, that it ain't working because you haven't enabled face rig to be able to do these special poses. To be absolutely certain that you have enabled it for your VTuber model, you've got to go into avatars, behavior, and enable custom actions at the bottom of the list here. This has got to be turned on for it to work as well, otherwise it's not going to work at all. Now this may depend on the software that you use, however it's possible that it may be completely different if you're using PRPR Live. I can't give much guidance sadly for how to make it work for other software besides FaceRig, but I'm sure there's something in the options somewhere that would allow you to be able to use your special poses. If you do have issues, it's always worth just looking into the options of your chosen software. So yeah, I hope this video was helpful for all of you who are wanting a little bit more of a directed guide on as to how to make a CFG file. I believe in you, you can do it. <laughs> Take care of yourselves out there everyone and thank you so much for watching the video. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this in the future. It means a lot. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you all later. Bye guys!